starting out my kit and then I can get ready to go and register. So nervous. Right, I'm all done. Let's go. to go in the school for the briefing and um, we've just seen the hundred runners off um, so yeah exciting <laughs> itself it really does but if you've got any inspirational stories people you meet along the way because you're amongst the most amazing bunch of people and you're going to make some lifelong friends you really will if there are any stories you need to come and find us and tell us on saturday and sunday so we can tell those stories and let's have a proper celebration so 16th time so we're going to see you all at dale main tomorrow we hope you have an amazing weekend and for now all i've got to say is <laughs> it's race day. You can get on if you want. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> More exciting. <laughs> Alright, that's the loop done. On to the rest. People have started to disperse a bit now. Um, this is the biggest mental challenge for me because I'm surrounded by people who are running and I feel like I should be running, but I just want to stick to my plan um, of running by feel and taking it easy when I need to. So yeah, it's a tough one, but stick to it and I'll see if it pays off. Coming into Pula Bridge, five miles in. Thank you. Thank you. One, two, five. Climbing up towards the cockpit. Um, currently on the Ullswater Way. The views are going to open up over Ullswater very soon. It's very windy. I think a hotel checkpoint is down there somewhere. 9.7 miles in, I won't be far off. Not really feeling it. Um, my ankle feels a bit sore, I don't know what I've done. Um, and my sciatic is playing up. But other than that, I'm all right. Tone, the first checkpoint, got myself a coffee and some sweets and biscuits and just taking it easy um, because very soon we'll be climbing Fusedale. It's a very long and windy way up Fusedale. Oh, High Town checkpoint was really packed, um, so I just got in there, grabbed a cup of coke, a cup of coffee, and filled my little sandwich bag up with sweets and biscuits, um, which I haven't touched yet since leaving. Um, don't really feel like them, but I've got them there to just keep nibbling on. <laughs> when you think you're nearly at the top of Fusedale, and then you get the shock of your life. I 
just never ending. It's raining and then it's not raining and then it's raining. I just don't know what to do for the best. I've got the waterproof on at the minute, but I'm getting too hot. Um, so yeah, see what it's like when I get to the top of Fusedale, I might take it off. Almost at the top of Fusedale. Very windy. Struggling a bit with sciatica in my hip. Oh, and here comes the rain again. Yeah. Why am I doing this again? Dropping down towards Hall's Water now. Hope this weathering improves down there. Sugar. Point to my dale head just behind the trees ahead. The water of Hall's Water is low enough to see the ruins of the whole village. inside but not close enough. Raining again. Point number two, Mardale Head. Looking down, coming into Mardale, out of pace. Cracking your you. word. Right. Well done, everyone. Brilliant. Well done, well done. Heading out of Mardale with my cup of coke, salt and vinegar crisp. Out to tackle Gates Garth Path. Window. 
really is windy. Gates Gaff Pass now. Um, I was going to say the wind's dropped, but I've just come around the corner and it's windy again. And the wind has died down a little. Um, yeah, just heading over to Kempia. Just coming up to Kentmere. That was the montane checkpoint. Oh, sorry. That was the Kentmere checkpoint run by the good people from Montaigne. Um, so I had a uh, pineapple and coconut smoothie, which was very nice. I had some pasta. Um, and I've replenished my sweet and biscuit bag. And the water. So good to go now for another few miles. Next stop, Hambleside.
heading up Garburn Pass now. I feel like I shouldn't have eaten that pasta, but I know I had to. Log. Descending down now towards Trotebeck. Windy again. I'd like to do the hundred, but it's put me off now. Yeah, no way. <laughs> See us. Three of our friends are about ten of us in the three. Drive back down there. That's where we're heading. Again towards Trout Beck. It's gonna be dark soon, head torch on, and I probably won't be able to do much filming. Feeling quite tired now. But I'm still going and I'm still smiling. Windermere down there, shortly be dropping down to Ambleside. It's going dark pretty fast, so I'm gonna grab my head torch so I'm ready. The clouds are looking a bit ominous as well in front. I've had to take my jacket off because I'm burning up. Uh, might need to go back on shortly. Just coming into Ambleside. to go.
Just coming through Elta Water, not that you can see me. Probably needs a bit of a rinse from the suit. Oh. 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 I'm alright, I'm not confident about this next bit. Yeah. Tea, please. Thank you. Uh, one, please. Oh, no, actually, two. Yeah, a bit more energy. Is that right? I'm not looking forward to this bit. No. <laughs> One more climb. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Not that many. Climbs. Not. Yeah. now. Pretty decent track. No, we haven't seen anything. But I'm just coming down the road to the Black Bull to Coniston Town Centre. <laughs> and I'm getting a bit emotional because I didn't even think three weeks ago that I was going to be able to do this and I've got less than half a mile left to go. miles smashed in 16 hours 46 minutes um really wasn't expecting that especially 
considering that I've had issues with sciatica. Um, yeah, I didn't think didn't think I'd come in under 18. Um, but yeah, I've done it. I feel great mentally. Feet are a little bit sore and my hip is a little bit sore, but other than that, it, it went really, really well. Um, so yeah, it was great chatting to loads of people on the course. Um, there were loads of people who have watched my um, recce video and who said it had really helped them. Um, so that was a good um, morale boost for me. Um, so yeah, it was an absolutely great event and I can't wait to um, try my luck next year. Right, thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you soon. One last thing, I forgot to show you this beauty. So we didn't get medals this year because the theme was um, the Wild West and Coniston. We've got a belt buckle. <laughs>